Well, I'm back. Had a nice little vacation. And I'm feeling a little refreshed and ready to talk about pop culture. I've been kind of anxious to talk about this one. This is a huge story. And I'm not surprised, especially after all of the rumors turned out to be true. This movie, I don't know. I don't know what Warner was thinking. I don't know what Todd Phillips was thinking. I kind of think he intentionally made this movie bad. Maybe to kind of give Warner Brothers the finger because he didn't want to make this movie. So it's like, well, we'll just make it a lecture for people that liked the first one. There's so many questions I have about the decision-making for this movie. But let's just start with the numbers. So according to Variety, this movie needs to make about $450 million to break even. And so far, it's made $121 million worldwide. So the number everybody's been talking about over the past... 24 hours or so, is that it's made about $40 million domestic, which is bad. That's it's really bad. Uh, the Joker won. I don't remember what that made domestically, but for, it, didn't, it wasn't $40 million. It was a lot more. We have global numbers now. It's at $121 million. Culture Crave says $121 million here. I saw some people say 125, but we're going to stick with 121 million. That seems to be the number everyone's sticking with. So that's where we're at. Now, honestly, 121 million, not the end of the world. However, you need to you need to know two things here. One, it limped to that 121 million. Two, this <laughs> This movie will not have good word of mouth. So usually, if you had an opening like this, you could say, well, it's going to have good word of mouth, so it'll keep going. Because we've seen that time and time again. If, if a movie is good, people will still go and see it through you know the next couple of weeks. That's not going to happen with Joker. Joker is going to have a huge fall off because nobody likes it. I haven't really met anybody that's liked it so far, and I'm sure I will. But, I mean, there's reports of walkouts. All I've seen people posting all weekend were empty theaters. This is bad. This this is going to be a huge disaster for Warner Brothers. And, like I said, I have to question the decision-making here with this movie. Why would you make a movie? Because it really does seem like this. In... You know, it sounds crazy, but is it? It feels like this movie was made to lecture the people that liked the first one because the wrong people enjoyed it. It's like, I'll show you. I'll show you. You like that movie? Well, here's why you shouldn't have liked it. This movie should have never been made. This is a disaster. Hundreds of millions of dollars down the drain. And for what? So you could stick it to the fans? It just seems like an incredible waste. I've gathered some some reactions. I've just kind of been looking around and saving these as I've seen them while I was out over the weekend. And I think they kind of sum up. By the way, lots of people walking out of this movie. That comes from a variety reporter. And I'll get to that strange article in a second. Uh, the silver lining is that it angered people I don't like. And this is why modern writing has declined so bad because the writers are too focused on angering people they hate instead of writing a competent story. This is a response to this guy who's glad that the chuds have been owned. I thought Joker 2 was bad, but the fact that so many chuds who thought Arthur was their people's champion in the first movie, have to face that Joker 2 frames him as actually just a nobody loser with main character syndrome is a pretty funny silver lining, to be honest. So to own the chuds! The chuds have been owned! 
They've been owned. Uh, this person said, was I right? You have to realize the only reason this movie is being made is because you enjoyed the first movie the wrong way. It really does feel like that. And there's this, I don't know if this is real, and I feel like <laughs> I feel like Todd Phillips is just screwing around here. He's bisexual and stuff, saying that Joker is, is bi in this movie. <laughs> Uh, is this one from uh, Jeremy John's clip? Everyone's tired of it. You show up because you love something. You helped build it, supported it, made it money. Be it a movie, game, or show, only to sit through the creator burning it down and ranting through the script because the wrong people liked it so nobody can have it. And then he posted this picture, or her, I, I'm not sure who, what, what or who this person is, but I just liked this reaction because it's true. And posted this Jeremy John's clip. It's a weird time where studios and filmmakers are like, so let's just troll the fans that actually built this thing up. Hundreds of millions of dollars on their own private joke, their own way to stick it to fans. It's so strange. We're He's right. It, it is strange. I don't know if that's out of context or if that was in his Joker 2 review. I don't remember him saying that. But, I mean, it, the context here is is right. It, it feels like they're trolling the fans. Did you think that that was going to make you money? Pissing off people? Did you think the modern audience was going to come in and swoop and swoop in and save your your day? <laughs> no. The only people really at the end of the day that got screwed were the studios. They got screwed. You're going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars because you didn't like the audience for the first one? And there's this post. I don't know if this is just a meme or not, but I'm sure there were a lot of people that did want their money back. <laughs> Fans want their money back after watching awful Joker 2 sequel after it releases with a 39% on Rotten Tomatoes. This is one of the rare times, by the way, that critics and audiences agree on shit. And if they both agree, usually it kind of lines up very well. Critics hate this. I wonder, I didn't even check this to see what the top critics said. Yeah, the top critics are at 25%. All audience and verified audience are lined up perfectly. This is just a shit show. And we're going to end it with this article from Variety. I watched Joker 2 at an opening night IMAX screening at The Grove. The fanboys were nowhere to be found. Yeah, nobody showed up for it. Nobody showed up for the movie. And <laughs> uh, it's funny. This article talks about, like, it looked like it was, like, the audience for a romantic comedy or something. But confirmations in here about walkouts. In fact, people were, this, this is what I, I really wanted to touch on here. Throughout the screening, the still not full theater was filled with constant movement. That means people were bored. People coming, people going to the bathroom, to the concession stand, just stretching their legs amid the two-hour and 19-minute runtime. A couple of walkouts ensued. It felt busier than LAX, where I just landed hours earlier. Despite all of the bustle, this was the lowest energy crowd I have witnessed in some time. No cheers, no laughter at the few jokes, definitely no singing along to the very recognizable tunes. That's a pretty good summary. The fact that there was movement means people were bored. That's why there was so much movement. People were bored. And what a what an F up by Warner, by Todd Phillips, everybody involved with this. You made a movie to own the chuds. Or you either did it because you're tired of the Hollywood system and you wanted to stick it to Warner by making a movie that you knew would fail. And I do wonder, do you think Todd Phillips did this intentionally? Because I doubt he wanted to make this movie. But you give somebody a check with enough zeros on it, how do you say no? So, I mean, I don't think there was any passion here. There was no passion. There was no love for the project. It was just made to 
maybe make sure there'd be there would not be a third one. Maybe he made it so bad that he knew if he did it this way, he wouldn't get a third one. I feel like the Wachowskis, well, no, both of them weren't involved. Just one of them was, I think, with Matrix 4. Whichever one did that movie, one of them that I can't remember which one, but I sometimes wonder if that movie was made with the same intention. We'll just make it so bad, Warner won't make another Matrix. I have to wonder if that's the case. And it's a conspiracy, but, you know, th- this is the only thing that makes sense to me. Yeah, I'll just make it so bad there won't be a Joker 3. I'll take your paycheck for Joker 2. But I won't make a Joker 3 <laughs> because you won't ask. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are your thoughts? What do you think happened? Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.